the worst moments in high school stay tuned some of you will relate these moments but some of you <laughs> there were no worst moments in their high school days stay tuned hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it is your lady again here now Mimi Soga. i hope you are holding good wherever you are good morning good afternoon good evening i don't know where you are watching me from if you are my returning subscriber please feel much welcome as always if you are my new subscriber my new viewer stay you are safe you are in a safe place stay tuned always turn on the notification bell give my videos like comment and subscribe because in this house it is only happiness here nothing more nothing much it's only all about positive vibes we must be happy as much as possible so let's get into the story stay tuned number one ho oh. This one was painful, guys. I told you about my grandmother. I was in form 2, 2013. This was the worst moment for me in high school. I got a report from the office that my mom, that my mom was calling me. My mom came and she told me about the last of my grandmother guys this was the worst moment for me in high school this mm. one was the worst moment for me because back if you if you have been following my videos or watching my videos i tell you that my grandmother was like she was acting like my father i never have while growing up my mm. dad passed when i was in class three so my grandmother was always there for us for my sibling for me for my mother she was acting like she was everything you just know when you don't have a dad and <laughs> some people some uncles you know how they can disturb you how they can disturb mothers especially widow ones so my mom my grandmother was there for my mom so that was the worst moment guys it was the worst 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 moment guys but all in all we are still here and i thank god at least my grandmother he died at the age of 80s it was not bad but death is death you know nothing like nothing cruel like death but we still thank god everything is still fine to date so guys that is my first worst moment in high school when i got that message from the office from the mouth of my mom she came direct to inform me because she knew very well the relationship i had with my grandmother so guys we are okay thank god for everything that one is number one number three guys this one is funny <laughs> but it is fun now but then when this thing appeared to me it was not funny at all it was not funny guys when i was in form one in the dome called uh, the dome was called i can't remember but what i can remember very well I moved from that dome to another dome called <laughs> Valabolini. Guys, in this dome, I was in Form 1. When I was going to school, it was second term. My mom used to buy me, to buy me big, big bread. I think the, that one going for the bigger, the most biggest one. So this one, my mom, I came with it. We opened school as normal. I came with my, I went with my bread to school. I locked my suitcase. The next morning, after coming back to school, I went to take shower, guys. While coming back, it was around 5 a.m. While coming back, my suitcase was open. 
it's like some girls th those two those people were sharing cube with they were just someone one of them was just watching me my steps while going to take shower and coming back so when I, when i got back into my uh, cube my suitcase was largely open or wide open my bread was not there guys but remember these people were sharing cube with they were form fours and when i joined form one 2012 the form fours during that year my friends the form fours girls were huge <laughs> since then seek why you honor any huge lady joining high school in that school those ladies were huge so i could not even ask i just wait for the dawn to end then i went direct to deputy principal office i reported as a form one guys so nothing was done the deputy just surely i was to took the kidogo but she did nothing i just again reported to my my school mother it, it was not she was not actually my school mother but she was my friend from home we were family friend thank god we are still family friend i love that girl so much ruth feel much loved wherever you are so i reported to this lady again and this is my friend this is my school mother she was she was tiny and and she was just like she was also she was also from four years but she was not like these ladies who stole from my suitcase these these ladies were huge oh i'm sorry by then that my school mother was in form three and the people who stole from my suitcase were from four my friends i'm telling you 2012 those who studied in that school they can tell you those ladies were huge i could not even quote their name <laughs> they were huge what about now <laughs> they are now more huge and huge those ladies were huge my friends and i was informed i was tiny and young young so young so, hey my friend that was the worst moment for me in high school they were they stole my bread guys and the bread was a bit buffalo and just just imagine that you are for one someone stealing from you a buffalo bread <laughs> the, the, the bread you already put in mind that this bread you are going to to take it even for three days anytime during the evening during games time you you went back to your dome and you take your bread and they stole it guys that was the worst moment but now it is funny <laughs> i reported my bread was stolen because they, because they took only bread only bread, only my big bread but i reported i was a form one i reported them oh guys it was the worst moment for me in high school and i hated school so much remember it was my first time boarding school i was now in boarding from big class to class i was just in public school going to school and going back home and then someone is stealing my buffalo <laughs> but for now when i think about these things they are just funny at least i'm happy guys now by then i was not happy <laughs> oh my good god pray for those form ones who are passing through bully bully moments if they are those big big form four but nowadays i don't think they are they are those big form fours yeah, they were huge and if you just see a lady passing you cannot even look twice they are <laughs> so they were huge they are never my own mother hey, guys they stole my buffalo my bread <laughs> But for now, I'm happy and it is fun. By then, it was not fun at all. <laughs> Number two. Oh, guys, it is still about death, death, death. This one got me when I was in Form 4, first, first term. This one was the death of cousin, the son to my bigger uncle. This cousin of mine, this this man, this boy, he was also in Form 4. He was a kind of a person who loved everyone. Nothing like this is my blood sibling. This is my cousin. He loved everyone. So that was also my worst moment in high school. When I lost my cousin, Peter Oluwaj, rest in peace wherever you are. That was my worst moment. That one I got a message from my 
I, my high school class teacher, mm -hmm. my mom called. With that, a call, he never came to school. So that was also my worst moment. Wherever you are, cousin, please all watch. May your soul, may your soul, sorry, may your soul rest in eternal peace. Guys, those two moments were the most worst moment in high school when I lost the people I loved the most. Let's get into number three. Guys, worst moment number four. <laughs> you want to believe this, guys? Wow, wow, in high school. High school was what a joke. Guys, school, guys, I'm telling you this. So this one, uh, those those girls, girls in high school, those my fellow ladies, my fellow girls, they, they, they had this mind. If someone stole your skirt, you go and shop. I don't know if they were calling that scaffold. We were spreading our clothes in a a given field there so if you if you go for your skirt and you find or you found it missing you have it or you had to take another skirt of someone just steal from another one so this time guys i went it was on saturday i was just in my weekend dress so i went to the fillers normal to check my clothes if they, are, if they were okay they were dried up so that i can fold them Take them to the dome, guys. When I went there, my skirt was missing, and they were not even good skirts. They were from one skirt still. From they, when I joined from one, the skirt I was given, everyone all from one. The skirt we were given during that year, they were the the worst one. They were remo they were removing some manure. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but they were the worst skirt. But when I went there, the, that skirt was missing. There were two. They were all missing. So. So this one was I was in form two. So what I did as normal, as the way they are doing it. If you find, uh, you follow what other people. If if you join the community, you have to follow the culture and continue with life. <laughs> so I did the worst thing also. I took someone's skirt, the skirt, the one, the, the person who spread her skirt, who spread her skirt next to my clothes. So I took that skirt. My friend, do you know what happened? Hey, this cat belonging to my fellow classmate in you know, form two. My and this lady, this lady I took as cat. <laughs> she was the, the person you never you can't you, you can't even want even one second to have an argument with this lady. She was a kind of a lady, my friend. You cannot win an argument with her. You cannot. She was talking to you, everything, just now, like a person you don't want to interfere with, with any more, any longer, or in any moment. So I took this skirt. It was on, it was on Saturday. Monday I put on the skirt, I went to class. Why? Let the lady saw me with the skirt. Hey, <laughs> guys, that was the worst of my friend. And I told you, when I was in high school, I was just soft, okay? I was someone, I was... I, 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 even these things I'm talking about, I could not even talk about my, I, I was just there. So my friend, hey, hey, I faced the worst moment. <laughs> the skirt was belonging to this lady. So what I did, she threatened to go and report me to a uh, school deputy principal. And remember, I was all, I, once I reported my case to this, this, this teacher, so I was afraid. <laughs> So uh, people stole my brain and I reported to this same teacher. And now, I'm now a thief. This lady wanna report me to this principal. So, nili nyekea. Nikaombea, I told her, okay, if it is just cut, then I'm sorry. Mine were also stolen, all of them. So I got this one next to my clothes. So I, I had no other option but to take them, just understand. But at least, thank God, she understood me. And the story was just like that, ended like that. But guys, eh, it was it, it was the last. It, no, sorry, it was the worst moment for me in high school. Oh, don't joke with that lady. Those such ladies don't joke with them around. I cannot quote her name. <laughs> but thank God, the story ended like that. Oh, this one is the worst moment number five. Ah. The worst moment number five, guys. Hey, 
Uh, I school, no one can, my, I cannot, I cannot just pretend telling even my own kid or any my sibling that school is something very easy. Now school is not easy thing. What you have to do is just to, to think like real human being, like normal human being for you to survive in school, whether it is campus or high school or what, you just have to do it the way other people are doing it there. So this number six. During that time, I was in form four. So during this time, uh, girls were like, the waliko wana jikuna chini. They were itching down down there. So this this disease called I don't know whether it is the disease called candidiasis. This one you can get if you 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 always going to dirty toilet, dirty latrines. So the ladies were like they were just itching down there. So they were taking gate pass from deputy principal, going home, and we were in form five. I don't know that it was, seems it was second second term or third term. I think it was second term. So ladies were just going, ladies were going to deputy principal, taking gate pass, going home for treatment for this thing called candidiasis. And you know from force, eh, from force, you like a choka on a choka, just want to go home. Your brain is full of every from 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 with every everything, sorry. Your brain is full with everything, everything from form one. Now you are in form four, thinking about my lost bread, my skirt, many things, guys. So I went also as other ladies, my fellow classmates and other ladies in other classes to go and take that gate pass. My friend, I don't know how these teachers were treating me. They were just pretending they don't know me, but they, like they, 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 I don't know, I can't, I don't know how to put it. You, do you know what this, my deputy teacher did to me? She left everyone in the line. She took me pa, 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 to sick bay. Eh, why? To talk to Matron, the nurse who was was servicing us to take my phone number my mom's phone number and call my mom back home and tell my mom the amount the amount she needed to send so my mom can send that money for matron or for my nurse to go buy me those drugs I was not allowed to go home so I was just wondering eh, this lady everyone was given that gate pass but when it reached it my time I was not given the PUT principal left everyone in the line I was taken to the sick bay for the matron not for the nurse to call my mom back home to send money so that that drug nurse can go and buy it for me or if that was impossible for me if I could, I could, I could not give them my mom's phone number. They were taking me to outside dispensary. Eh, guys, that was the worst moment for me also because I was wondering why. If this all these people from from one, from two, from four, my classmates are were given this this gate pass. What about me? That was the worst moment because I pre I prepared my mind and like I set I set I set up everything in the dome. I knew very well that day I was going home, but it ended up like that. I was not given that chance to go home. Eh, guys, that was also the worst moment for me in high school. You can't relate also. That time you planned very well in your mind. You want to go home. Oh, let me not forget. Again, the same gate pass. I also, I had a rare school fee, rare of less than 2000 so my mom already called. My mom was the person who was, who, she was just calling, calling, especially class teacher. So she, she already called my class teacher. When I was given that receipt, that fear rare receipt, I should not go home. And it was less. I was not even given that thing to go home. So I just <laughs> talked to my class teacher that at least he, he could go and take that thing from our bursary or bus or what. At least I could go home and collect that 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 what that school fees. My friend, Kumbe, the class was already called. She was already my mom already called the class. Hey, my friend, it was not get, get getting out of the school to go home. <laughs> Those are the worst two moments also for me in high school. Let's get into number six, guys. That was number five. <laughs> so, guys, number six. 
this as I told you about my worst subject in high school, chemistry. My friend during double chemistry. I cannot even talk more about this thing because chemistry and the teacher who was teaching me chemistry, he was the same class teacher, he was the same person. My mom was calling now and then asking him about of me how I'm doing in school. So hey, I cannot I could not imagine having double chemistry, especially two lessons to lunch. Hey, hey. Was just <laughs> at the moment of this stage, yeah, every time you came to our class, you will ensure that at least I go there, at least to, to calculate some, 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 some equations. Man, and, and I, I was just like, hey, this, what, what's wrong with this teacher? So, guys, double gave me three lessons to lunch. That was another worst moment for me in high school. I cannot even talk more about it. I really told you how I hated chemistry and that was the worst subject for me in high school. So that was another worst moment for me in high school. Let's get into number seven. <laughs> so guys, number seven. Hmm. This one is almost to everyone, but especially to me. My friend, during break time, sipping sugarless strong tea hot one remember sugarless strong tea hot one sipping it like that then without bread eh guys <laughs> during break time i was just waiting home this break time why should the teacher just stay in class at least for us to stay without taking this tea everyone to stay like that because you are sipping this hot sugarless tea it is hot, it is sugarless, and you are sipping it like that, it is hot, and someone <laughs> next to you is just having big, big bread. <laughs> but guys, let me tell you, not that I didn't have money, my mom was giving me just according to how she could manage, and she was doing well, my mom was giving, was giving me money, but this is my school mother the lady i told you about this lady i was calling my school mother and we were also family friends back at home and thank god we are still family friends this lady was just i don't know my mom was giving was giving her all my money this lady alikona nieka hivi ukikula bread leo if you eat bread today tomorrow there is no bread he was also doing the same to herself so i was she was just like that eh, you cannot eat bread today and tomorrow you also eat bread and if she bought bread, my friend, she cannot give you your you all bread. And take this bread at least for you, keep it for yourself. Every break, each, each and every break time, she will, she will, she will br bring me my bread. Three slices, not even four. And you could not even think that this, I knew I, I knew I give this, this baby or this child or this student bread yesterday. She was only giving me three, three slices, my friend. And what, hey, I just wonder, I don't know what's wrong with this lady, Ruth, what was wrong with you? She could just give money. When we close school, she could give you all your money. So you are wondering why this lady was giving me three slices of bread and skipping some days. So guys, during break time, sipping hot sugarless tea was also my worst moment in high school. You can relate. So guys, since I have most or many worst moments while in high school but for now i just have nine so the last ninth number nine this one was visiting days times if your parent never if your parent failed to come for a visiting day it was also the worst moment for almost all students not only me me i cannot talk more about it because my mother never failed to come she was always there any visiting day my mom was the first person to sign there at the gate <laughs> with the big big things with the food hey my mom was bringing me food so this one i'm just talking on behalf of the other student mm, those who never saw their parents during visiting day but for me my mom was always there for me each and every vis every visiting day she, she will ensure that she came or even if taking only some minutes to 
to see me and go back but she was always there for me guys and like me now i have to be there there for my my son he's just he, he needs me to carry him oh, give me a time boy i'm making or i'm creating content here i want these people to subscribe okay tell them to subscribe to mama so guys that's the end of our video for today if you can relate if you also pass through these worst moments in high school please write down there in on comment section but before you do that subscribe like share please subscribe like watch my videos i told you that this house will be all about vibes after vibes so guys the baby so let's call it the end of our video for today guys bye